guys, welcome to another crazy wedding weekend. I'm so excited. I'm working a wedding out in Columbus, Kansas today, so we're gonna have a really great time. We were able to pre-set up yesterday, which is awesome for your wedding coordinators. That means I can just go and do the final touches today and make sure that everybody's arriving. This is a three location wedding, so we have the inn where the girls are getting ready we ha and the guys are going to be getting ready in a different room. We also have the church where the ceremony is going to be and then we have the reception area about 20 minutes away. Um, so it's going to be a little tricky making sure everyone's arriving at the same time because there are a few people who are arriving when I have to be at the church because the ceremony starts when they're arriving on site. So I'll be texting them during the ceremony um, to make sure that they are there. And my phone is already going off, so it's a great day. We have a double wedding weekend, so not only do we have my wedding, but we have another wedding. My boss is working um, here in Joplin, so I'm, you know, keeping track of both communications and making sure everyone's having a great day, and the plan goes perfectly. We often forget to show some of our rehearsal behind the scenes. So we actually start with rehearsal with you and we're gonna make sure everything's perfect and just as the timeline specifies and make changes along the way to make sure it's gonna be what you want. So I'm kind of showing you some of our setup right now. We did this the day before. It looks crazy before it looks calm. So we first have to get everything in place for the next day arrivals for food vendors. The florist is going to arrive. We get the tablescape put on to make everything look perfect for the florals to be put on. And our bride wanted to have some of the draperies taken down. So here we are over here. Thankfully the venue allowed us to take down the drapery. So we worked together as a team to do it efficiently and without causing any problems or damages. And we all worked together as a team. And speaking of team, look at how awesome everyone is. There were so many people out helping. We were listening to the bride's directions and everybody did a great job chipping in to get this place looking perfect, fast and efficiently. So here's just a little behind the scenes of how much effort it really does take to make sure that the tablescape gets put down correctly. And a lot of people have different textures as centerpieces. So we were making sure that we put different centerpieces on different tables so that it looks nice and orderly. We have champagne glasses and water goblets as well as charger plates, napkins, silverware, and plates on each table. And in the center we had some votives. We had three tier candlesticks and we also had a few tables that had the tall standing floral stands and we were just kind of getting it prepped to make sure that it was perfect. In the meantime, we're also hanging up stars and the bride was helping her bridesmaids determine the length the stars needed to be from the balcony. Foremost, I'm stopping to get my extra shot of espresso and a snack because most generally, I don't actually get to eat um, besides what I pack until dinner. So I have these bad boys and I'm gonna have coffee and maybe something here but um, I'm usually running around all day. I don't have a chance to eat until dinner time, so I'm gonna try and get myself something to eat before it's too late. And the guy in front of me is staring at me through his side mirror, so that's weird. So the first stop on this journey today is at the Little Brick Inn. I'm actually here about 10 minutes early. Um, I really wanted to stop here first because I wanna make sure that the hair and makeup girls arrive on time, that there's no conflicts or miscommunications here because then I'm gonna zippity doo dah about 20 minutes away over to the reception hall and I'm going to start I'm gonna meet with the florist um, make sure that everything's looking perfect move my wedding emergency kit inside so I have all that handy I have uh, the lighter handy in my fanny pack my leather fanny pack um, because I have a lot of candles to light at the ceremony and at the reception space. So I just want to have it handy with me at all times today. Um, and then I'm going to meet with the florist and bring the flowers back over here to the girls for their photos. And I'm probably going to do that around noon, right when the photographers are going to arrive. So I'll probably get here at 1030 again um, to make sure that the photographers and the videographer gets here, that there's nothing I need to do. Everyone's accommodated and arrived and then I'm going to go back to the reception hall and make sure that all of the vendors are arriving. There are a few vendors who are going to be arriving at a time that I have to be leaving for the church to get there on time. But I'm going to show you my phone. On the background screen of my phone I have 
the whole entire wedding planned out. I have a podcast playing in the background, but I have everyone's arrival times on the back of my phone, so um, I'll be able to check on that while I'm busy doing everything and not lose track of time as to when people are arriving as well as the time. That's where I'm at, so I'm doing right now, and I'll keep you updated. I'll show you guys ready to see how beautiful the setup is going to be. So it's not quite done yet. I've already checked with the girls, the hair and makeup's doing. Um, so we have all of the tips for the team who did the flowers and their payments. I have an extra name card I need to put out. I have the charcuterie board payment ready. Over here we have the catering company's final payment ready. And I have some other payments hiding over here with my things that I'm gonna pass out as vendors get here. The florals are officially here and putting the last touch flowers together and we're charging some of the lights that need to be on. So I am officially here at the church. I shouldn't have to come back here until it's time to prep for the ceremony. Um, the reason why I'm here, I'm picking up the boutonnieres and the florals to go deliver them. But let's take a peek at how the florist did. So we have both of these. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of this for Dawson and I'll be lighting all of the candles closer to showtime. So I just did a quick FaceTime for Dawson who was at the inn and it looks like she loved the placement. I just wanted to make sure that everything was exactly as she was expecting it to be before I popped over with the florals. The videographer, the photographer are there on site. Everybody is good to go. Timeline's going perfectly. So I am headed out of the inn and going back to the venue. One of the cute things about this venue is you can actually make a poster board for your own event, which I thought was very, very cute. So let's go ahead and take a look at the setup completed. check in make sure some of the people arrive for the charcuterie board the cake and the rest of our crew the catering and the DJ aren't going to arrive until I'm off-site so I'll just be texting them making sure they don't need anything but this space looks gorgeous I am gonna try to find out where the bride and the groom are to go ahead and see if I haven't missed their first looks and just kind of watch what's going on until I have to be back here. It's currently 118, so I have some time to relax and just go watch what's going on with the photography and videography. There is no need for me to stay on site. Here I am just assisting. And then checked in on our girl. You know what? We have the best vendors. Um, I love when vendors are all on the same page. Now it is our bride's day. It's not anyone else's day, but our bride's. So however she is feeling, whatever she needs to do to feel 100% ready for her day, 
is what we're going to do. Regardless of the timeline, regardless of the schedule, our schedule revolves around our girl. And when everyone's on the same page with that and encourages that, it's awesome. So that being said, um, we did a little bit of a teamwork effort. So the photographer and videographer are actually going to transport those flowers to the church for me. I am stopping by a few different stores on the way to the church to find some Maybelline mascara that's going to make our bride feel a little bit better about her makeup, something that she's more used to. And um, I didn't want the flowers to be in my car because they're probably going to wilt from the heat and the humidity when I go in and out of stores trying to find these on the way out there. So I just love when vendors are on the same page and help each other out and our goal is the same thing, which is to have a perfect day for our bride. And the perfect day for our bride is where our bride needs to feel perfect. Hey gentlemen, where's everybody else at? We, we only have us. Just you yeah. Okay. So they're not supposed to be here till three, I think. Okay, great. Okay, okay we're you. waiting on keys to unlock the door. Oh. Ty, Ty is getting them. Okay, so. you should be okay. Okay, um, cool. We'll, we'll head that way and no, stand by the just door. Just don't go near the sanctuary doors. Okay, we won't look at all. Yeah, I yeah. won't. We're just going to blindfold him. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Okay. Right there was a little behind the scenes of me making sure the gentlemen are not going to be near the sanctuary because they haven't had their first looks yet and we are doing some photography moments with her and her mother in the background. Here's some bobby pins to save the day with that veil and everyone is feeling good and perfect. Looks like we are getting ready for the first look, so first and foremost, we make sure we're not going to be in the shot, and then we sneak a peek. Are you ready for your first look? We're going to come He has his eyes closed. Okay, where is Phil? Just for okay. And I'm going to fix it. Here, it's up while you walk out Oh, sorry, I just dropped that. No, don't walk this Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, that was me just checking in. The catering has arrived, dropped off, as well as a charcuterie board. And now I'm sneaking back in because I've also just put all of their gifts and cards into my vehicle. And I got to be very quiet and sneak back over to make sure that nobody hears me getting this done because my time is so limited on getting from here back to the reception hall and getting the flowers picked up and moved after the ceremony. So... Getting some of these little things out of the way now is super important. Woke up from a whisper Collar shirt down by my feet Stood on crowd bench <laughs> Near. 
don't mind me, I'm now on my way to the venue and wondering where some other people are, but we found them, don't worry. You guessed it, these flowers were from the ceremony and now moved to the reception. One of the nice things about having us is we can do a quick room flip for you. And while your guests are inside, here is what we are doing behind the scenes. Guessed it, it is grand entrance time. I've already helped the bridal party make sure they were in the right spot. Then I went over by the DJ and we were just waiting for the guests to be ready. And this is what it typically looks like. Different for different locations, but generically the same, something cute and fun while they walk out before we introduce the new Mr. and Mrs. and get started with the reception. For the first time as husband and wife, please give it up for the bride and groom, Nikki Dawson! Dawson, everybody! Come on now, show us some love tonight! Yeah, 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 yeah! The bride and groom! <laughs> come on, don't stop, come on! Come on, they're still headed this way! Yeah, 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 yeah! You got it! Now that we've entered in, mom's gonna pray and we're gonna go ahead and dive into some food like this little guy with the shades. All right guys, the grand entrance is done. Everyone is getting food, but I have mom's keys because the bouquet is in the car. We need to get that on the table. So that's what I'm here for. All right, everybody, it is that time for speeches and toast to the bride and groom. So if everybody could please take a seat real quick, we're going to be... While they are toasting, it's time for the coordinator to grab something to eat. Just after the toast, we're going to go ahead and have our first cake. Fun fact, sometimes your wedding coordinator also cuts your cake for you. After you've cut your cake, it's time to jump on into the dances and we're going to start off with the bride and groom and then we're going to move on with the bride and her father, the groom and his mother and any other dances they would like to have or games. Luckily, I was connected to the venue's sound system already from using the cocktail hour playlist through my phone and was able to connect my phone to be a DJ just for a little bit whenever a computer system had malfunctioned. So your wedding coordinator can literally do everything and here I am also starting my cleanup, which is quite the process. First, we start off with the napkins. Towards the end of the night, this is obviously right around closing time. I'm unplugging 
the lights, I'm putting them away, I'm looking at all of the food that's left over, making sure that's put away, I'm collecting all of the flowers, all of the candlesticks, everything that's on the tables and placing them into the correct bins because not everything was rented from us. I need to cut off all the flowers from those floral stands, put away this photo booth and then I'm going to try to start putting some of this stuff into my car. A lot of this I really can't get going with until everyone is ready and so we started cutting off all of the branches from the balcony when everyone was on board and started sweeping up. This party was awesome and everybody was on board and we left around, what time does that say? One. Thank you so much for watching the behind the scenes of your favorite wedding coordinator. Please text or call me if you would like to have me work your wedding and a big congrats to this beautiful couple. I'm so honored to be able to have been there for your big day. Thank you so much for trusting me. Bye.